Hello everyone, no respawns here, hope you're doing well. So in this video I have made a farmhouse and this is one of those builds that kind of would work quite well on its own or in quite a large open area. However in this instance, because I'm, I'm kind of trying to build up Sunshine Tidings Co-op and actually finish it, I thought right I'll just kind of squeeze it in here. It actually works quite well because I'm kind of starting to develop this kind of little alleyway in the this section at least of the, the settlement. However, I would probably normally have built this somewhere like, say, County Crossing, or maybe even Finch Farm, or potentially Abernathy Farm as well. It just, it's quite a fun structure. So I based it on something I found on Pinterest. I was looking for kind of post-apocalyptic farms. I posted a few pictures on Twitter the other day, and I was like, right, this is kind of the vague inspiration for what we're going for. So one thing you probably notice already, what I'm deliberately trying to do is I'm not using snapping stuff as much. I've mentioned this in the last video, the last couple now, that I'm trying to kind of make structures that are a little bit less reliant on the typical structure of building in, in Fallout 4. Obviously I'm doing snapping like that but you'll see I replace these in a sec. However I'm just trying to do, because there are quite a few things that look quite simple that we can't necessarily replicate so I'm trying to see how far I can go with it. Also in this video as well, especially in the tour which I it's quite slow, I'm making quite a lot of use of the post supports and beams mods and the light with shadows and beam effects mods that I showcased in the last video. I'll put a link down, I'll just put a link in, um, in the description to the video and in the comment section of that there is all the links to all of the various mods. The mod dev has actually now released a PS, um, and Xbox One and PC versions as well. So basically you can now use them on all platforms. That lighting mod is insanely useful. I don't know how I manage without it, to be utterly honest. It's it's just glorious. For just like little things like fine tuning the lighting in the interior of your settlements, um, interior of your buildings are gonna be absolutely fantastic. So basically what I wanted to do with this is that I went for kind of go a farmhouse thing. But so for example, using the barn, I use a lot of the warehouse pieces rather and normally you, you use them with the normal warehouse bits, whereas I'm trying to kind of, as you see right here, I'm kind of mixing them together and kind of freehanding a lot of stuff. It's kind of one of those weird structures that looks very simple, but I knew I wouldn't be able to replicate it unless I actually made it kind of by hand. It was, it was really fun to make. The decoration was great fun as well, because I got to make use of a lot of the new mods that I downloaded recently that I hadn't actually kind of had a good play around in terms of what decoration uh, items that have been added. So it's quite cool. It's quite a fun one, this. I've got a couple, still got a few more ideas for the summon. So I think possibly maybe two or three more builds and it should be more or less done. It's just I need to fill kind of the, the open space. This was a little bit of a nightmare to get straight, I'm not gonna lie. It was complete pain, but I managed it. Also, I had that while I was doing this video, actually. I had that glitch that I've mentioned before where you your save get corrupt, so you get this thing where it goes, oh, um, cannot save due to lack of memory. I think it's a PS4 thing. A couple of people have mentioned that it's due to the creation club items, and I noticed when this happened, my internet was cutting out. So it might be a slight DRM thing on the, on the side of Bethesda, where they're basically making it, because these are items you pay for, it might be that they're making it if your internet disconnects while you've got a creation club item it then does that thing where you, it won't let you save unless you're connected to the internet I, that would be my guess potentially people have mentioned it is something to do with the creation club i wouldn't put it past them they're usually not too bad with their drm but it's just the kind of thing that i can imagine them doing and it kind of would explain a bit so as you can see i've kind of what i wanted to do was anyway to have this kind of the the, the front the facade is it called the facade yeah the facade of the of the farmhouse to kind of come out like this now these supports are an absolute godsend a couple of them see a lot of them i was having trouble I actually cut out loads of me scrolling through these stupid menus so a couple of them are these ones and these ones basically you don't have any collision as you just basically kind of manually place them by hand which were really, really useful because it's exactly the kind of structural support I wanted for the front of my farmhouse. It looks really, really cool. The great thing about this, I really like the style of this structure. It makes me think a little bit of, what do we call it, of, of um, Fallout New Vegas. In the fact that it's got a slightly kind of post-apocalyptic kind of frontier look to it, which is quite cool. It's always nice when your ideas actually come together. My ideas are coming together quite a lot recently, but it's mainly because I'm just 
absolutely obsessing over them and spending way too long thinking of an idea. Also, stupid Ada kept floating around. I realized afterwards the reason being is because her guard rug is actually under where I built and I forgot I put it there. It's one of those invisible ones. So um, eventually during the decoration phase because she kept coming inside the house, I actually just place her somewhere. I need to actually sort out the settlers in this settlement because all of the, basically there are loads of robots here, right? Because it was, you know, free the robots and all that jazz everywhere. However, I haven't actually got them to do anything bar guards, so they're all just on visible guard rugs, just kind of, sort of, monging around. So I'll sort them out. Most of this structure is actually the, you know, the front, so it's basically me making this kind of weird little, not weird, but it's just, I guess, bespoke and custom little facade of the building, and I just think it looks really cool. It was really fun, and it just makes for quite a dynamic build. Look at her. Stupid bin. I need to change the colour. I think I just... I, I haven't touched Ada in so long. I don't know a lot of you. I never use her. I think because she's basically, outside of her dialogue options in Automatron, she is basically just your standard Automatron-built robot. So basically, I kind of just dump her off. And if you do use an Automatron ro robot, it's usually custom Codsworth or something like that. But yeah, basically, all of my kind of custom robots live in this settlement, and I just haven't seen them since. Kind of feel a bit guilty, to be honest. A bit guilty. So I've got a few things. I want to do a chapel, like one of those kind of all faiths chapel. I think that might be the next build video, FYI. Mainly I'm saying that so I actually commit myself to doing that because I really want to build a kind of... Because I haven't built a chapel in literally years, I think. Oh, no, no. There is one at... What do we call it? Bunk Hill. I have built a chapel there. But that's actually using one of the kind of prefab bits. I actually want to kind of make a custom little chapel. So next next build video will be a chapel and it will be in here. I think it's you know, kind of a little all-faith cha all chapel. It will suit the, uh, suit the kind of style of this, well, basically this co-op, which is exactly what it is. The style of this settlement. So it's looking really, really cool so far. I had... I was going to put quite a lot of solar panels on the roof because one of the inspirational picks I used actually did have solar panels. However, I didn't because they didn't really suit it. Oh, bugger off, Ada. Yeah, bugger off. So basically, those of the you who didn't see my last video, the, uh, the beams and supports mod actually has a load of these now junk fences, which basically are just plywood kind of turned at an angle. So what I wanted to do for the for the front, for the kind of fencing, is actually make this custom little fence. It's just something something that in essence is, is quite small, but was really, really fun. To, because I'm a complete loser. Like a lot of you are, actually, to be fair now. You're like me, where, you know, just kind of obsessively making weird custom fences and bridges and stuff is, is great fun. This, this was cool. This was cool. I was a bit pissed off when I had the save game glitch, though. I did rage quit for a little bit and swear a lot in my house. I think it is to do with the internet. Let, let's try and figure this one out together, yeah? If it, may pay, if it happens, well, any of you, when you get the annoying corrupt, like, cannot save due to lack of memory thing, is it due to your internet suddenly turning off and on? Or, you, usually with me, you know, I get the notification that the Wi-Fi is turned off. So I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, so as you can see, I made this little bit of a custom, custom fancy thing. And basically, that, that's that's really all we're doing. Most of this video is just that. <laughs> I did cut up quite a lot of kind of bullshit of me just screwing around. There are a few things, actually, that I missed off when I did... I think it might have been the Creative, Craft Creative Crafting Station's mod review because I keep discovering stuff in my mod venue. Right, okay, so these shack awnings are from... I can't remember the name. I think it's called Custom Junk Walls or something like that. It's in one of my... If you go to one of my mod showcases from, like, October with the mods I use, it's in there. And they're really, really good. But they're an absolute nightmare to place. And also, you don't really, maybe don't see it as well in this... Oh, fucking pick up that ladder, remember that. But I'm getting this straight. It's really, really difficult. So you'll see in a minute what I do is I put some of the vertical planks behind this to make it look like it's supported by them. Put them in first because it just makes putting this in a lot easier and you get it completely straight. I do actually get this straight enough that I didn't have to readjust it. But as you can see, I'm here having a bit of a bit more of a nightmare that, than I really should have had I done the, the support structures afterwards, which we'll see in a wee sec. So basically, as I said, this is in the, the, the support beams mod is just fantastic. You will never need supports and or beams ever again. 
As a note, I did have custom vanilla assets enabled. You can actually toggle a load of bits off for that, which I might do soon, because it, it kind of spams my menus a little bit. So these are a bit of a pain to put in, however, they do rug glitch quite nicely. Also, I play around my pillow a little bit. Because I wanted this kind of awning thing. There's actually an awnings, I know for that people have mentioned this. Uh, the mod dev who makes this mod has got some other stuff as well, which will be the next video potentially. Um, but one with awnings and I think there's one with shop stuff as well. I just didn't want to use them until I've done a mod review, but I know there are awnings that I could have replaced with this one. Maybe I'll use them for my church. See, see this part here? This would have been so much easier had I done this first. But as with a lot of my deals, I don't really plan them. I'm, for example, while I'm doing this, I'm listening to the Magnus the Red audiobook. Very good, as I've said. Listen to audiobooks where you build. It's great fun. And I'm also... I've got a picture in my other monitor, which I'm looking at to go, Oh, right, okay, I'm doing that. Because I just... I just, I just couldn't remember. And also I was making stuff up as I go along. <laughs> So this, this little structure at the side, because I, I wanted to, I was going to give it solar panels, but I also wanted to make a little, there was a kind of like ventilation system at the side. However, I didn't actually want to build a ventilation system. So I basically put this little shack in the side, a spoiler, I put a ventilation thing, a uh, ventilation, or just called a vent, David, to be utterly frank, or a fan on the side. And it looks rather spiffy, although I do get weirdly obsessive with getting it straight. So basically this is the, what do I use mod? It's the Go Solar mod, I think it's called. It's on PS4 and there are, and on Xbox One, and they're a PC equivalent, if I remember correctly. It's in there somewhere. But basically you get all of these little solar AC units and they're really, really good for kind of, actually I've got one right there. There we go. Because they look really, really nice. And they just add this kind of nice little technological aesthetic to potentially untechy looking buildings which is kind of what I use them for. Now this mod I absolutely adore and I did want to show you how it works so basically these are the custom dealer assets. String lights and I'm going to pop them there. From now on I'm only ever going to use because when I use, I use normal lighting obviously but when I use custom lighting I'm not going to use, you see where you saw them on the custom dealer assets they have their own lights with that mod. They don't work as well as these lights. So in the last video I did, as I'll put a link to the last video in the description so you can see it, I reviewed this lighting mod and it is just absolutely fantastic. So here's the tour. I went a little bit crazy with the with the decoration as you can see. All of those barrels now, because those custom barrels from Unlocks and Objects don't actually have a light source. Well, I don't think it's very strong. So I've put the candle light source over the top so they actually, you can see, you can see them, they kind of give off a little bit more of a prominent light it just looks so cool i had so much fun with the decoration so i hope you guys like this this was this was quite fun uh, i went a little bit ott with the decoration it's a bit more open on the inside but it allows you to kind of me to demonstrate all of the the various decorative mostly from the creative crafting stations mod which has loads and loads of decoration bits as you'll see when we get to the kitchen uh, but also kind of other mods as well. It looks very, very cool. I like this. It's very, very cosy. And you can imagine this being kind of a standalone homestead somewhere. Slap some turrets on the outside. Maybe actually add a little garden and you're good to go. Anyway, as always, follow me on Twitter at no response. I will have a new video up soon, especially up in a workshop area. Oosh. That's all from Creative Crafted Stations. I didn't do fuck all. And anyway, um, I'll have a new video up soon. And you guys enjoy the rest of your week. You take care.